here's the first stream for today um which is actually me doing something rather than just talking uh nonsense uh I promised I would look at Lens Snapchat Lens Studio and the City Scale AR stuff, which is what we're going to do. Now I'm in Twitch and I've applied um, Twitch Studio, sorry, the software, and I've applied the layout, the in-game layout. So I'm hoping that when I go to broadcast and then flip over to Lens Studio, I can still see my feed. Um, I'm not sure if it works on every full screen app. I'm on a Mac as well, so it probably won't work. Um, but anyway, here we go. We're going to go over to broadcast. So first of all, we're going to get a bit of this, this craziness. And then I'm going to go over to here. Now, hopefully, you should be able to see Lens Studio. Difficult for me to tell. There's no layout. There's no overlay either. So I can't see um, if this is working even, um, which is a bit annoying. So let's just assume it is and have a look later. So anyway, this is Snap Snapchat's Lens Studio software, which you use to create filters, face filters, that kind of thing. So in the preview here, I've got it set to plain, but you know, you might have um, like a face filter or something. You can set it to a multimedia view. You can choose to put your webcam so here I am hey um, that I'm not probably messed up my stream doing that I don't know um, but for this type of experience you have the previous plane, just a normal plane because what you do is build the content um, as it goes the first thing you need to do as well is unlock the Y axis so you press on this little button here you also want to set the camera speed to fast and then what you can do is use the spacebar to um, to fly up in the air and as you can see as soon as I've done that you start to see the the city mesh and the content that I've added to the city mesh um, I'm building these Easter themed lenses for for Easter um, and there's going to be three of them across London now, because this is city scale, it's actually quite restrictive in the fact that you have to be in London and you have to be at these locations to see this content. But that's also part of the appeal of it. You know, um, the the content here is going to be on a, a enormous scale. I posted a video uh, recently where I went into London and tested this. Um, so you can have a look at what it actually looks like when you're there but what it how it works is snapchat have mapped certain areas like london and los angeles and santa monica and i think they're going to do a lot more cities um but they've they've created they've done like a basic sort of lidar scan across areas probably with with uh satellite data i'm not, I'm not sure but they've created these meshes and the meshes aren't perfect um, in fact, they're pretty basic, to be honest. If I go up, you can have a better look. Um, also, because of the way I've hacked this um, code, you don't see the full mesh for some reason. Um, it This is like the set tile. It creates like a nine tile grid. But as soon as I added the physics to the mesh object, it seems to cull the rest of it. This the mesh is actually still there; you just don't see the texture on it. So it still all it still works basically. Um, and in real life, you don't see the mesh. Obviously, you don't see the texture; you just see reality. The mesh is there, um, invisible over the top. And there are some textures that it adds to the mesh to show you. Um, what's going on you may see that little red um, animation over the mesh there see that <coughs> that's got something to do with telling you where you can tap on the mesh if you want to add stuff to it <coughs> so um, to set up your own location you go into the map 
and you drop a pin that pin is then added to your um, object graph um, and you it gives the template gives you um, some objects some empty objects here for you and tells you what to do so here it says move pins in here you've got city scale AR choose your location state so there's the mesh the object all this is given to you in the template so you don't have to do do that much really um, you drop the pin in to this London content folder uh, empty object and that pin then is the children of this pin object then have all the objects that you want to it want for it to show as virtual content when you're when you're there so I've got these animated bunnies which I've added and they're just standard FBX files that have been imported with their animations they're literally just dropped in and I'm able to um, let me just try and yeah so there's the mesh in the preview window there so let me hide the map I've got limited space on this laptop um, so if I go into one of these objects for instance um, you can see see it in the preview you can see the colliders on there and you can see the um, this is Old Street Roundabout if you know London it's quite a big um, landmark in Old Street which is the which is a digital out of home screen JC Dassault um, real estate and this is the the roundabout at the moment is an absolute mess because it's a construction site basically they're redoing all of old street um the tube station and all the 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 roads and buildings around there so it's it's a real mess at the moment you'll see in the video that i posted um that it's quite it's quite difficult to even see this area but i wanted to build this here because i also want to show this to jc to so as an option for <clears throat> for media owners generally uh, doing digital out of home campaigns that they could extend those campaigns with um, augmented reality so you could have um, I don't know like an, a Nike campaign and you could have a sports character in 3D coming out of the advert um, into the into the, the space around it and, and it would look you know impressive because it really is impressive. These bunnies are huge when you see them on location. And there's uh, this bunny floating in the air. There's one up on, sat on a building over here, um, right up in the sky. These Easter eggs up here fall down and they're huge. So it is really quite impressive actually, the uh, the result when you, when you see it. And it's also very easy to, you don't really need to do a hell of a lot at all just put the content in and um, the mesh isn't going to be accurate though so there's a lot of things that I've learned from doing this and in fact um, the best results in this particular one uh, are the bunnies on the buildings because they don't have to be sat perfectly accurately and you can see them clearly they're not being interrupted and occluded by buses and people and other things in the environment that the mesh isn't occluding so but yeah because the the mesh is basically a um it is used to occlude objects as well to try and make it look real but obviously because the mesh isn't perfect it doesn't work brilliantly so you can see here where it's occluding the bunny um but in reality there's a whole bunch of other structures here that um just aren't meshed so that they just won't be occluded um so you you really have to think about how you can do this in, in such a way to avoid these issues to avoid the bunnies um or any of whatever content you're using to avoid them being to uh, looking messy and being um not occluded properly basically and in the video which i'll, I'll post a link to in the chat you could see there's another location Piccadilly Circus which I did where the bunnies are at street level and the people and traffic um, d does kind of ruin that which is a shame I was only able to edit together a, f a couple of minutes of uh, 
content that was that actually looked half decent unfortunately so so yeah it was, it was a worthwhile exercise to 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 learn about the restrictions of this technology and what you can do and how you should do it which i can pass on to anybody who wants to do a campaign like this um the technical side you really don't need to do hell of a lot with it it's just standard uh, lens studio stuff uh, lens studio has a really nice interface and a lot of really cool um features and things that you can do <coughs> it has pbr um, materials so everything looks really nice and you can do interaction as well so um if you look at some of the, at the inspector here at some of the objects you can see um so these are the easter eggs and let's have a look so you've got phys so the easter egg anything that you want to have interact with physics you just add a physics body to it so the easter eggs when they're shot um out of cannons and stuff will bounce off the mesh by default the mesh the city mesh that is created um doesn't have physics applied to it so if you just use the template as is the easter eggs would just pass straight through so there was a bit of hacking to do to add a collider to the mesh uh, so that objects would bounce off it so the eggs have got a collision on them this box has got a collider as well so the for the bunny to sit on and we've got these cannons so the cannons are sat around in the environment and where, where are they they're on top of buildings so there's one over here for example um and when you tap on the screen the let me just check here so look see they the easter eggs are shot out of the cannons and will bounce off the bunnies you know whoever else they whatever else they touch um, including like the roads and everything so it looks very impressive when you're there so I've got Easter eggs and these yellow chicks as well there the the yellow chicks are shot out from a cannon way up here in the sky so they uh, and actually shooting the cannons uh, proved to be quite, quite difficult shooting the 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 balls out of the cannons because of the size of this the physical world scale size of things you had to really use a lot of force to shoot these things out and for them to to have enough force to shoot right across the you know because it's quite a distance and they're quite big objects um so it took me ages to work out why it wasn't working it was because i just wasn't using enough physical force in the physics engine so when you go to the behavior script on these cannons for example uh where is it cannon behavior script so there's a script for it so on awake you have a touch event um, which instantiates prefab so it's a bit like unity in fact that you can create prefabs for objects so i've got this prefab which is the chick it's got the cannonball parent which is the object that has the uh, the the actual uh, um, colliders in it for the for the cannon so it knows so the cannon object here for instance has colliders so that is the parent for where the prefab the, the balls and cannonballs basically are shot out so that's uh quite straightforward there's two cannons they both do the same thing one except one uses the easter egg prefab and the other one uses the chick um and that's it as far as interactivity goes on it there isn't much else to it um but yeah i mean you can do pretty much anything that you would do in a standard world scale ar lens but you have the city as your as your stage so it's um it's really quite interesting i'm definitely keen to talk to digital out of home agencies and um, media owners uh, to see if i can do a, a prototype or a proof of concept with an actual campaign something that's uh that isn't just dancing bunnies but it's the like a, a proper campaign a proper brand that want to do something different um, in the city, whether that's at Old Street or Piccadilly Circus. So yeah, very interesting new technology. You just go back into Twitch Studio.
and here I am back in the crazy world. Let's go back into this mode. So yeah, if you want to learn more about Snapchat, Lens Studio, and City Scale, augmented reality, if you want to have a go at doing this yourself, and you have any questions, uh, especially if you want to know how to do the physics side of things as well on the mesh, because that's not built into the template, um, then do get in touch and I'll help you out with that. I'll post links to the videos where you can see um, the city scale stuff in action in London uh, from when I filmed that last week. And I'll post that into the chat. Uh, you'll also find all that stuff on my LinkedIn as well. So if you go to there and have a look through my posts, you'll see me um, going on about it and posting stuff. And thank you very much for watching. And in the meantime, um, keep like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I'm going to be doing another, another stream later, which will be uh, looking at Spatial and the Metaverse platform and the Creators Toolkit that they've released for Spatial. See you later. Bye.